Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have this really cute gift box uh, made like a suitcase. It has a little tag on here, some brads. It opens up. This is what the end looks like. It opens up and it's a little gift box carrier holder inside. You could put um, a gift card in here, but I'm going to take this out because this does come out kind of hard to get it in there but it does come out and it's just an insert and I think I like it better using it like this so that you could fill this box full of goodies and they could you know just push it open from the back and uh, get their goodies out of it it would be good for putting swap stuff in given to a friend and it turned out pretty nice. So I'm going to show you how I made this. And first of all, uh, to make the suitcase, you're going to need a piece that's 10 and 3 fourths by 7 and 3 eighths. And I already have this cut. I cut a bunch of stuff ahead of time to save some time. But I will go over uh, each thing with you. On the 10 and... Uh, Three four side, you're going to need to score this at uh, one fourth inch. You'll need to sc score this at one and three fours. I broke my little tool. <laughs> Five and a half. And at seven. And then you're going to turn this. So now it's going to be on uh, the 7 and 3 8 side. And you're going to uh, score this at um, 3 8. Oh, did I line it up? Because I messed it up before. At 3 8, you're going to score it at 5. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta change this because I got it. I got this one already scored. I don't want to mess it up. So, all right. I'm sorry. You're gonna score this at three eighths, which would be right here. You're gonna score this at five and three eighths, or I'm sorry, five and five eighths and seven. So, I'll go back over the measurements one more time. On the 10 and 3 fourths side, score it at 1 fourth, 1 and 3 fourths, 5 and a half, 7. On the 7 and 3 eighths side, score it at 3 eighths, 5 and 5 eighths, and 7. And then we're going to fold this on all the score lines. And what we're going to do is I marked this so that you can see. We're going to cut this up here and here. This is going to be the bottom with the skinny side. And we're going to cut this up and notch this off. On this little corner here, we're going to notch the flap here. And we're going to come down and notch that. So what I just did is I went from the corner... And I just went out and notched it like that. And then I came in and I notched from both sides here. That way it took out a little wedge. The same thing here is I notched from both sides. And the same thing here. Then we're going to turn this and uh, we're going to cut. I got to turn it this way so I got it facing me. We're going to cut uh, half, like there's, th 
you got these two squares here which you could cut these off because we're not going to need those they're the real skinny ones notch that little corner right there on the flap then we're going to come over about half you'll go you'll have a thin line here that's scored and another line i don't know if you can see it but we're going to come over about half of this big square and we're going to come to the score line and then what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to cut that all the way down to that intersection like that then we're just going to notch these little ones here my hands are all shaky I've been shaking a lot lately for some reason So we just do that. We come over to the next small square here, because you'll have a big one and a big one. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on this end. We're going to come down. We're going to cut this open here to the intersection. Cut this one open to the intersection. And then we're going to cut this halfway of that middle tab there like that and then we're just going to notch these this isn't too straight I need to straighten that and we're just going to notch those like I said and then what we're going to do on this one we're not going to um, round the corners or anything like that we're just going to notch a little bit on the outer flap over here we have it'll be the one next to this tab I'm sorry it's the way I'm holding it so you'll have this one this with a flap like that and uh, we'll notch the corners just a little tiny bit not a lot not a lot because I think I notched my last one a little too much on the flap and it didn't close so now what we're going to do is uh, this flap here, we're going to cut this out because this is going to be our, our suitcase. So we're going to cut this side out right here. So now it should look like this. And then what I'm going to do is... I had a little template, but I'm going to measure in, I think it's, let me see, uh, one inch from these score lines here on each side, right in the center, I want to measure in one inch and put a little dot. So I'm going to put a dot here, and then I'm going to come over to here. make sure that that's there. I want to make sure it's straight and I'm going to put a little dot here both of them by the one inch and then I'm going to take my hole punch this is going to be for our um, flap on the top of the suitcase and it's going to be way easier to punch the hole now than to do it later or try to do it later so I'm going to punch a hole there and punch a hole there. So now we got our holes punched and we're going to just glue this together now. So what we can do is you can fold your box just like that in half and then this glue tab should come over on it. And I'm telling you this reptile glue it's awesome I mean it's a little expensive but it it holds and I don't think you use as much so I'm gonna go through and put some glue on here push that back up there Open that up push that down so now we got the start of our box that goes in this comes over 
that goes in like that and then these here fold in the two in ones and then the outer ones go on top or wait a minute oh I think we want to put those on the out I'm sorry we want to put the inner flaps in and leave the big long ones out that way it'll look nicer I had to sit there and think for a minute I'm just going to hold that in place for a second. I'm going to do the same thing here. I forgot to notch that little corner enough. Just notch a little. The same thing here. I'm going to put a little glue there. A little glue there. And I'm going to put those in place. And we got the start of our suitcase. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to take and make our inner box. Which the inner box is, I've got to find my notes, 8 and 5 eighths by 7 and three eighths so this is the eight by eight and on the seven and three eighths side so seven and three eighths by eight and uh oh, wait a minute seven and three eighths by I'm, I'm messing myself up eight and five eighths you will need to score this on the uh, eight and uh, five eighths side at a half an inch, one and seven eighths, seven inch, and on uh, eight and a quarter. I had to look to see where I had that. And then you're going to turn it, and you're going to score this side at. 3 eighths, uh, let's see, it's 3 eighths, 1 and 3 fourths, 5 and a half, and 6 and 7 eighths on this one. So that's on the 7 and 3 8 side. So we got on the 7 and 3 8 side at 3 8, 1 and 3 4, 5 and a half, 7 and an 8. On the 8 and, a, uh, eight and 5 6 side, you're going to score this at 1 half, 1 and 7 8, 7 and 8 and a 4. So once you get that all done, what I got this marked is what it should look like. We're going to cut... Um, these corners here out so we're gonna go here and we're gonna cut down to the first score line on the little intersection and then we're gonna cut that first one out we'll angle this one we will cut all the way down to the first intersection on this one and then we're going to do the same thing, move over, cut down to the first intersection. We're going to cut these first two small boxes off. And then we're going to angle that. And then uh, we're going to cut these ones halfway down that's why I got a mark here we want to cut these down to make them small flaps and then we want to just angle those in and then we want to go over here and we want to do the same thing we want to cut it down you want to angle that one in and that one in 
and then we just want to angle the, the up to the first score line with these and then we want to turn it and we're going to do the same thing we're going to eliminate the first two boxes we're going to cut this corner up we'll come over to the first score line and cut up to the first intersection and then we're going to cut that big square down so we're going to cut it so it's small and then we're just going to angle that and cut that in and we'll nip the little corner here we'll come over to this one we will cut this one down We'll nip the corner here and we'll come and cut this end off and then cut that corner right there at the same time. We'll cut that one in half. We'll angle this and cut this down a little and wedge it in. And this is going to be um, our inner box. So now we're going to fold all these score lines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue each one of these flaps here. So we'll go through and we'll glue this one first and push it in place. This is some really heavy cardstock here. We'll glue this one. glue this one I'll put some glue on that one and glue that one so now we have all them and we just need to fold the long ones under and the top ones, if you want, you can just put a little bit of glue where it's going to hit and put that to hold that down. Uh, just putting a little on each corner. I'll hold that down. So now we open our box, our suitcase, it's a nice snug fit, it goes in, So that fits really good in there. And that's where you're going to push it out. Need a little more glue there, I guess. I'm being stingy with my glue. Alright, so I'm going to push that back out. I just pulled that part. When you're gluing that and you don't got nothing up against it, it doesn't want to grab. Okay, so now we're going to come up here to the top. And I'm going to uh, make a little tab for it. Which my little tab is, uh, let me see if I wrote down. This is... Four and one, four and one eight, 
this is by one inch and um, what I did was I scored this um, the strap uh, what did I do this at three and three eighths oh, let's go that strap strap I, I made so many different adjustments all right so I scored this at uh, I'm sorry I gotta get up here to see the board five eighths and I scored it at three and a half to make this little strap and then what I did was I kind of like folded it together like this and I just nipped off the end of each one and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna put a little hole in here I'm gonna make sure where my tab is so I don't get that and we'll put a little hole in the middle of each one of these so we can put our brad in there the black is real hard for me to see on okay and then I'm gonna take some brads a couple brads I'm gonna fold the straps like that and bend that up okay I, I made the I gotta make this a little bit longer because I didn't push those holes in far enough I guess that would be the thing to do so let me uh, cut another strip here I should have lined up my holes on there first so I want to make that an inch we'll see okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to mark the holes on here this is my first time making this uh, without the other pattern the second time I should say okay so now I just made a dot on here and I'm gonna make I said it's very hard to see the mark for me I gotta I gotta bring this down I'm sorry where the light is and I'm gonna punch a hole in both of those my eyesight is really getting worse and worse and worse. I have a more and more hard time on seeing things, especially like if it's on black. I should have made this all on white. And then we'll score this at my little score tool. Score that at one half there and I'll just flip it and score it at the same on that end so let's see if it's gonna work for us now I should have used the strap once I made the strap to make the holes and then I did and I got ahead of myself so that's the best thing to do is don't do what I do put the strap on there so and then that way you know exactly where your holes are supposed to be like that probably could be a little longer and then I'm just going to angle the tops on here that way it's not so squared there I could have made that a little bit longer but that's the idea of it so now we will put our box back together here 
So we will slide this in here. Get our box in there, close it up. I'm sorry, probably out of camera frame. And we got our box right here. So now all we need to do is to put our little straps on there and these uh, straps were nine and a half by one and a half and I scored them at three and three fourths and five and three eighths and you really don't even have to do that just do yourself a long half inch strap and you can put it around and bend the corner and bend the corner on here like that and that's what I did with this one as I just bent it and then just cut off the excess so we'll bend that around bend that around and we'll just cut the excess off and I don't know if I like the gold straps on there I think we'll put some black straps I don't like that color so we'll just cut a couple straps here I'm sorry, making it longer and longer, but I just grabbed some paper that I had and figured I would do this where nobody was home and show you guys. Okay, so now, like I said, half inch strap. I think I like it better, yeah, with a black. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that around there I'm gonna pinch it here I'm gonna pinch it here and then I'm gonna cut it and maybe why I got the box in is I could put a little more glue here that the flap will stay because it's got something to smash against so we will do that and then we will cut that off right at the top and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna put glue on here and we're going to do that on both sides. And then we'll give us two of those. So, I will just set that down in there. Line it up. That's one strap. Now we'll do the other one. And we'll do the same thing. Hold it over, make a little crease, a little crease. And then I want to cut it off right there. And I just want to go back and put glue on it. Put it back on the bottom. Bring it over. Okay, so now we got our suitcase here, and then you just need a tag of any kind and some twine that I had here a minute ago. Here it is. I'm sorry, this is probably going to be a long video, but there's a lot of pieces you got to put together, so can't help it. My twine got all messed up going through there. So I'm just going to bring that up through the hole 
I'm going to put that on there. That through. Pull that one through. Just kind of tug at it a little bit. And I ripped it. Well, you get the point. I'm sorry. I ripped it. I don't want to take time to make another one. But anyways, now to the very last part of this. All I did was I took a, um, a one inch round uh, punch like this. I just cut a, um, a one inch square out and I folded that in half like that and then I opened it up I folded it in half again and then I opened it up and I took one of the little quarters out like that and then so what you're going to do is you're going to fold those and you're going to put some glue on them and these are going to be your corner pieces like this so the part that opens on the box to make sure the opening is on there but that's the one corner and like I'm saying, the one where it's going to open, you'll want uh, this one. You will have to take two pieces of the pie out, one at a time, but you're going to only need one angle. So on the very corner flaps that open, you will make a half of one of those and glue it on this side, the side that doesn't open like that and the piece that opens the little piece of pie here will go in the corner here so it looks like it's all you know all together and that's what we will do on all four corners so just put that around and snug tight it right there And then it gives that little look of the red and the black down there. And then that's all there is to this. I hope you try it. I hope it works out for you. I spent a lot of time trying to get the dimensions down right. And um, that way you could make it. I had to do a bunch of adjusting and get it around to make it work. I love to have a die for this. It would be awesome. I could whip through them really quick. So this is our little one. It's gonna go here. And then our little piece of the pie will go on the corner over here. two for the back and that's it and this is the one I gotta cut that one off I forgot to cut it opens back here and cut that one to there that one glues to the top that way the box can still open to the last one and this one can have a whole one because that part don't open so that's our little box it opens like I said right here the box comes out these are the two boxes here. 
So um, I hope you like this tutorial and I try to do my best at it and try to make something that you guys can make and use as a gift. I like the red and the black. I think the best out of all that one I think better than the pattern paper. But like I said, I was trying to use up some scraps. So I just wanted for a tutorial. Um, this one I wouldn't gift to somebody because I've got, you know, little mistakes here and there. But um, this one I really like. And thank you very much and have a blessed day.